Now that Mac OS Catalina has been officially released for quite some time now, I think now will be a good time to actually go in and look at some hidden features that you may or may not know that you could do with this latest OS. Now the machine that we'll be using for demonstration in this video is a 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's the entry level model for those who are wondering. But no matter the machine you're using, the process is identical to all. Now with that said, let's jump into it. So if you use Apple Notes, you're gonna really love this new hidden feature. Now, if you open up a document, you're typing up something, but there's an actual physical document you need to actually import. If you actually tap on this little photo icon with these images, if you have your phone or even iPad nearby, you can actually tap on that, and you can see the little gray arts, uh, grayed out section where it says iPhone. Let's scan a document, and now our phone, if we pick up our smartphone, we can actually scan that document and it will import it to your desktop. This is really awesome. And also relating to the same very similar feature, if depending on the document, but if you're on Docs or even the same thing what we were just using, Notes, if you right click, you can also insert the photo or slash document from those two devices as well. Now the other hidden feature is whatever window you have open, you know, these little three icons, if you actually hover over the green icon, you now have the ability to snap the window to be snap on the left or the right side, and you have other options, so you don't have to manually adjust them anymore or download third-party apps. And then on top of that, if let's say you have an iPad nearby, you could actually move that to the iPad as well. And you also may have noticed this is actually a faster way to enter sidecar. Now, something that I noticed that everybody seemed to miss, we got new screensavers. That's right, if you go right now to your system preferences, desktop and screensavers, on the screensaver tab, there's this cool draft screensaver. I think it looks really dope, and I really wish we received more, because I don't know how Apple comes up with these radical looking designs. And if you hit the option button, you have a bunch of different variety of different themes to choose from. So if your machine is space gray, give it a space gray. If you wanted to transfer everything, all the colors from your desktop, you could do that too. And then right below here, you might notice it says hot corners. What this basically does is allow you to set different corners to do different shortcuts. So for example, right now I'm gonna have this one set to screensaver. And if I press okay, now whenever I quickly move my cursor over in that corner, my screensaver will start. You can also set each corner to do different things. So if we wanna lock our screen, just set it a lock. And boom, it locks our screen. So instead of manually having to go and tap the power button, or if you're using a laptop, close the lid or go into the Apple logo and lock it that way, you can just set shortcuts right there on your screen. Now, if you own an iPad, you already are aware that Sidecar is now available. This is probably one of the biggest awesome innovations that we receive for Mac OS. But in case you don't have it set up yet, you can actually have a little shortcut right here on your toolbar. If you don't know how to do that, simply just go into your system preferences, quickly click on display, and check mark show mirror option in the menu bar when available. And now you can just hover over it, select the iPad you want to connect to, and bam. And you also have access to a bunch of its other tools. And underneath here, you can also go into sidecar preferences too if you want to adjust some of the other things like the uh, sidebar if you want to move that to the right or the left as well as or top to bottom. And if you do a lot of Photoshop work and stuff like that, yes, the Apple Pencil is fully supported as well as other third party apps. So if you want to make this into your drawing tablet, you can. And then if you use Apple Reminder app on the desktop, you can actually set a geofence. So if you need to remember something when you get to a certain location like the grocery stores, if you create that reminder on your desktop, it will actually pop up as soon as you are nearby the area. If you need to do a quick mathematical calculation, don't just use Spotlight to actually pull up a calculator. You can actually enter the math equation right there on the little search bar. It's pretty cool. I'm surprised a lot of people don't know about it. And you cannot just only do that. You can also convert currency in case you ever need to. Heck, even metrics, measurements, all that good jazz. So give it a shot. Now, if you have an Apple Watch, you might already have been aware that you could unlock your MacBook without 
touch ID, nor entering the passcode. As long as you're wearing the Apple Watch and it's unlocked, it will unlock your Mac device. But new for Catalina, you can also unlock system preferences by just wearing your Apple Watch. Or if you have a lock, like a lock note, you can also unlock it by tapping the digital button. If you're unaware how to do this, you simply just go into your system preferences, then go into security and privacy, and then just simply check mark whatever Apple Watch you want to select that's connected with your iCloud account. Now, if you ever had to sign a document, you know how annoying it is on previews using that trackpad to sign your signature. Well, with Catalina, you can actually utilize this display on your iPhone and use your finger to sign on that screen. It's really easy. On the preview menu, on the top left-hand corner, on the tab, tap on tools, hover over annotate, signature, click on manage signature, and then just tap on the iPhone or iPad. Select your device, and now your screen on your iOS device should change. And just sign, and bam, it saves it, and now you can just quickly import it. And as for an added bonus, because I know a lot of people are gonna ask this a lot, especially after seeing my desktop, is how I'm able to organize everything like this. Now, I haven't covered this yet on a tips and trick video, so I might as well tell you. And this wasn't new to Catalina. This was available on the previous OS as well. But if you right click, and you select use stacks and now whenever you take a bunch of images save photos documents stuff like that it will automatically organize everything off its category freeing up a lot of space on your desktop and there we have it that was pretty much all the cool hidden features that i found on the latest catalina of mac os if you have something of your very own you wish to also include on this list to give it some spotlight feel free to comment that down below in case we miss some now if you want to find out some awesome applications you could download for free for any mac computer on the latest firmware check out this video as i go through a bunch of awesome free apps and then this video over here, it has a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. There are computer bots believe you're gonna like it, so give it a shot if you wanna go ahead and watch that instead. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.